Hello folks and welcome back to the channel and today I'm going to be building a kit that I should have built absolutely years ago I just never get never got around to doing it got this off eBay and it's a crystal radio kit unfortunately this design is not available but <laughs> try and get all the bits out It's unavailable at the moment, so uh, but there's all designs for crystal radios. So I'm going to attempt to build this on camera in one take. It's a Cape Cod crystal radio kit. So of course, if you're a fan of sand dunes, salty air, quaint little villages here and there, you're sure to love this Cape Cod radio kit. And that's a terrible joke, so deal with it. So we've got a load of electrical bits and pieces, we've got some instructions, I'll look for that in a bit. Got a nicely made um, circuit, we've got a switch, we've got a uh, tuning thing, a bit for the crystal earpiece, a diode, a resistor and two inductors, and we've got two pin things here. Don't lose them, put them over there somewhere. That before the, um, the antenna bit. So then let's uh, have a look at this schematic for those who want to play along. Or well, you can even build your own. Dead simple. So what have we got? We have got air on earth, variable cap, inductor, inductor, band switch, detector diode, crystal earpiece and an 87k resistor so then let us begin so i'll move these out the way we don't need them yet also comes in a little lanyard thing so all right going to use one of these helping hand things to keep the circuit steady and this is actually going to be interesting because I am standing over the camera, so I'm looking at this through the camera lens. You can buy these on eBay, they're quite um, eBay and Amazon, quite good things to have. So then we've got solar lines warmed up, we've got some electric glue. I'm just going to find the instructions so I don't mess it up. So, solder the geranium diode red band to the right so that'll be down there it's quite fun to build these radio kits it more doesn't even have to be a radio kit there are plenty of them on ebay and amazon it's a good way for practicing your soldiering skills and you've got to see how terrible mine are and, uh, <laughs> yeah plenty of kits out there it doesn't have to be radio it could be blinking leds or one of these decision type maker boards but it's always fun quite like doing kits as well And the good, I think the good thing about these crystal radios is you don't need a battery. So, solder, Dr. One, 220 Marker Harvard, Marker Farad, red, red, brown, silver. That's another one I pick up. Red, red, brown, silver into L1. Yes, yeah, so these do not need any batteries, so it be quite fun to mess around with. And put the other inductor in, why not? Well, we're here, two birds, one stone, etc. Ad nauseum, blah de blah. There are some quite nice um, other crystal radio kits on there. Uh, online 
and I don't think I pay much for this one anyway fairly cheap but there are some nice ones plenty of books as well I did see one uh, videos you can make for free or something similar which was produced in 1972 but you can only get that as an ebook and I'm not a big fan of them with Kindle books so I have a physical book But that's just me, Mr. Awkward. Done that, done that, done that. 82 kilo ohm resistor. I hope this is the right one. So I think after I've soldered all this together, we'll bring you back a bit later. And. Uh, Go at what things we can pick up. Okay then, so that's the kit built. I've decided I'm not going to go into the shed and uh, use it there because it is cold outside. That's my excuse. I'm sticking to it. As soon as I built this, I had a mess around with it and uh, tried different lengths of antennas. I did use the um, the long bit of wire. This bit here. And it uh, didn't put in any more stations, I uh, had it going across the room that way. Didn't seem to make much of a difference, so maybe it will be ideal to do it outside. The ground lead here, two of them are patch leads, that's going to the radiator that way. And this is one, two, two bits of a patch lead, then it's gone to an even longer wire, which I've looked over the... Um, of the curtain veil. Uh, judging by last night on set, I can only pick up two stations, and because it's a high impedance crystal earpiece, the volume's not brilliant. So um, maybe adjusting the resistor there might give more volume. Although you don't want too much because uh, these are dead uncomfortable, and yeah, anything loud it just distorts. You might not even be able to hear the the station I'm listening to. I'll, I'll listen to that and edit. However, I do have an amplifier kit or a signal tracer connected to a 9 volt battery. So let's uh, switch it on and see if we can hear what I'm hearing. Yep, you, you, you try not to do it. And I'm going to disconnect that because I'm going to try not to get a, a copyright strike. Can you get a copyright strike about distorted audio? Maybe not. The audio sounds better in the crystal ear piece than it does the um, the signal tracer thing. Actually, this has got me thinking because I won't mind building another kit or maybe uh, getting a design off the internet and messing around with coils and such like. Anyway, that's it for this video. I'm not going to waffle on for too long because it's probably gone 10 minutes and you're probably half asleep anyway. So in the meantime, if you enjoyed this video, give it the thumbs up. If you didn't, then give it the thumbs down. The links to the ebook is in the description along with the uh, circuit holder and all the other social media links. Anyway, until next time, thank you very much for watching and I'll uh, catch you in the next one. Take it easy and uh, catch you soon. Bye for now.